Grace TV, the home of joy. Ah, uh, good morning, ladies and viewers. It's another blessed Sunday, the son and daughters of God. Today, I am your morning speaker in the Power Morning Breakfast. And I thank God to be here today speaking unto you the word of God and telling you what God is going to speak unto you and manifest into your life today. Uh, it's a great Sunday and I'm very grateful to be here today. My name is Isaac Esau Karioki Kamau and uh, I preside or I am under Reverend Sammy Samuel and uh, in a church called Evangelistic Christian Fellowship Church and uh, and I'm glad and thank God for that. And uh, today, as I said, I'm your morning speaker and I welcome you all to this nice TV as I preach to you this morning. Welcome all. Before we start, let's bow our heads and pray unto God this morning. Father God, we come on before you this morning. We thank you for everything that you have done unto us, Father God. We lift you and we glorify you this morning, Father God. Father God, I pray that you may bless this word, Father God, and that you may speak through me, Father God, unto your people, Father God. I pray that you may speak, Father God, into your people. Open their eye, their inner eyes and open their inner ears so that they can hear, Father God, and see what you're trying to speak unto them this morning, Father God. I bless your word, Father God, and bless it onto your hands, Father God. Let me not speak my words, but let me speak your own words, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, believing in you. Amen, amen, amen welcome again i welcome you again as we're going to start now today we are going to read from the book of mark mark 11 mark 11 that is mark chapter 11 we are going to start verse 12 up to 14 we are going to read mark chapter 11 12 to 14 mark chapter 11 12 to 14 and i will read for you the next day as they were leaving bethany jesus was hungry seeing in the seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf he went to find out if it had any fruit when he reached it he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season of figs then he said to the tree to the to the tree may no one ever eat fruits from you again and his disciples had him say it. Now we are going to jump to Mark 11, 23 to 24. We are going to jump to Mark chapter 11, 23 to 24. And I read, I tell you the truth. If anyone say to this mountain, go throw yourself in the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says will happen it will be done for him therefore i tell you whatever you ask in the name whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours believe that you have received it and it will be yours the topic of this morning the topic of this morning is power of I believe. The topic of this morning is power of I believe. The power of I believe. Now, as from what we have read from the Bible, the Bible tells us that Jesus and his disciples were walking to Jerusalem, coming from Bethany. If you read down there, you'll see that they were going to, to Jerusalem. Uh, where Jesus met people selling things in the market and uh, he chased them away. Now, when they were passing, Jesus saw a fig tree in a distance and he thought of going to look for fruits on that fig tree. But the Bible tells us that it was not the season of fig trees to bear fruits. So when Jesus reached there, he cast the fruit and his disciples heard about it. Now, the next day, when they were coming from Jerusalem, that is verse 23. When they're coming from Jerusalem, now going back, the disciples noted that the fig tree, the fig tree, I will read for you verse 20. In the morning as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. 
Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the tree you cast has withered. One as few. They were shocked because Jesus just spoke the words, but the words did the work. And when they were coming back the next day, they noticed that the tree had withered. Bonus if you now today I'm going to tell you the trick behind the word I believe. Or the trick behind the word believe. The power of the word I believe. Bonus see if you now. See what Jesus tells them in verse 23. I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes and does not doubt and believes. Now, that brings us to the first point that I'm going to speak about this morning. When you believe, when you believe, you should not doubt. When you believe, you should not doubt. Because when you doubt what you have spoken, it never happens. The mistake with some of us that we do is we speak. We prophesy upon ourselves. We say good things upon ourselves. We say better things upon ourselves. Then when it comes, when it comes to some period of time, when it, some period of time passes away, you tend to go back and you tend to doubt what you said about yourself because you think you cannot do it because you feel you cannot do it because you feel the things around you are so tough for you that you cannot move and you start doubting your capabilities you start doubting your strength you start doubting your faith you start doubting how far you can go and you start doubting the things that you can do with the power of I believe when you stop doubting yourself that is when the power of i believe will do things sometimes we, we, we want to do something like when you want to start a job and you feel that you need to start that job the first thing that comes to your mind is i believe i can do it i believe i can stand and do it again that's why you go and start a job because you believe you can do it but when things start going on and things start getting rough and things start getting tough for you you start doubting yourself you start doubting your job and you feel like you're going to close that job down and move to the next step and you feel like you're going to shut that, that, that job down and move to the next job because you feel that jo that job is not your job that job is not working how you want it or that job is not working to serve the purpose that you opened it for. Bonus if you will. Now, when you doubt, many things will happen in your life. That's when you give Satan the chance to come and speak evil things of doubting yourself. You feel like you cannot. Many people, many people at this pandemic time have been fired from their jobs or their jobs have been closed and they feel they can't move on anymore. There are some things that they had prayed to God to give unto them. They had some, they, some things that they had, had, they had asked God to give unto them. But today they feel like they cannot do it anymore. They feel like they, it will not happen. They don't believe it anymore just because they are out of job. Let me tell you, my brother or sister, you have the power to start anything that you want with your own hands and do it and it will succeed. It only takes you to believe and have that power of, I believe believe in you when you believe in yourself when you believe in yourself things will happen look at jesus jesus believed jesus believed and that's why he spoke to the fig tree with boldness and it happened as he believed and he says here he says here i tell you the truth if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself in the sea and does not doubt and does not doubt in his heart in his heart but believes the bible tells us that whatever you pray in truth and in spirit that means it comes from deep down your heart it comes from the depths of your heart out it will happen and manifest itself unto you so do not doubt this morning i'm telling you do not doubt the first thing is don't doubt yourself because when you start doubting yourself that's when your faith goes down when you start doubting yourself that's when you cannot do anything when you start doubting yourself that's when you start questioning god 
Bona sifiwe. But when you believe, you will not question God. You will not lose your faith. But you will stand strong and move on. Bona sifiwe. When your relationship is not working, do not doubt. You can work on it and you can make it move on. Because you believe in yourself and you can make a change in that relationship. Only if you believe and you do not doubt in your faith and in your spirit and in your heart. If your job is not working, you should not doubt, but you should only change the strategy, but not changing the job. When things are not going straight in your life, you should only believe and have faith in our God, Jesus Christ. Now, check us this. There's another thing that happens that leads us into doubt. The second point is do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. Fear, fear is the greatest distraction of human being. Or how can I put it? I can say fear is the greatest worst thing in a human being. It can destroy you in a second and it can make you destroy and damage everything that you've built in your life and in your successful life to come up with and it can destroy it with only one hit or a blink because when you fear doing something you doubt yourself and then you don't do it when you fear to start a job by yourself because you have been employed all your life and now you can't believe in yourself it brings doubt because you fear the losses because you fear you, it will not work out because you fear it will not go through when you fear going into a relationship because of what happened to you in the past relationships then you doubt yourself if you can love better you doubt yourself if you can move on better when you fear when you fear that you can't pay your house rents in time then you doubt yourself that you cannot provide the house rent in time. You doubt yourself that you cannot do it. The power, the power of I believe does not need fear. You should be strong and you should move on like a soldier of God. Because fear can destroy you. Fear has made many people not to bring out their talents because they fear what people will say. Fear has made many people not to come out into the public and show out what they can do because they fear what people will say. Fear has made people not to bring out the jobs that they have in themselves just to help the community just because they fear what people will say. They fear they won't do it. They fear they can't do it. We have many people who can sing, but they fear they cannot, they cannot sing. They doubt themselves because of what people are telling them. Oh, you cannot sing. Your voice is not good. Because people are discouraging you. People are pushing you away from your dreams. Many people are still in the house. They were fired or their jobs were closed. But they have the fear of moving on because they don't know what to do. When you take the first step, when you take the first step, the next step, God will do it for you. When you take the first step, the next step, God will do it for you. It only needs you to lift your leg and take the first step into your destination. Bonus, if you will. It only takes you the power of a first step into what you want. If you can't take the first step, if you can't conquer your fears, then you can't do it then you can't do it. You will never go anywhere if you fear. You will never take a step forward if you fear. You will never take a step into the dreams that you want if you fear. You will never move on in your relationship if you fear. You will never move on in your job if you fear. You will never move on in your career if you have fear. You will never move on if you fear because the devil uses what you fear. The devil uses what you fear to, dem to, 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 demor to dem demoral demoralize you. To, to make you see that you are worthless. You are useless. He uses your fear to make you see that you won't make it. Fear is what destroys a man. Fear is what pulls a man down. See this. 
when when David went to kill Goliath the children of Israel were so afraid of Goliath and the fear in them made them to shiver and tremble because they could not move and face Goliath because he was a big giant and that made them to have the fear that it came into a point that Goliath was mocking their own God the God, the creator of heaven and earth and they could do nothing because they were afraid they doubted themselves if they can kill Goliath they doubted themselves so they entered into the battle with fear and doubt but when David showed up he came with two things he came with boldness and he came with another thing believing that he can do it he only believed that he only needs God to do it he believed that he only needs God to go through when he came he only picked stones and went with them he did not have any armor in his body or anything he just went in with his boldness and the belief that God is with him he walked in because he knew God is with him now this morning you should know that God is with you you should believe in yourself and believe in God it only takes you to believe in yourself if you know you can do it do not listen to people what people are saying unto you will destroy you what people are telling you will make you not to take a bold step let's read let's read in the book of second corinthians second corinthians 4 second corinthians 4 13 let's read from the book of second corinthians 4 13 second corinthians 4 13 aha and i will read unto you Uh -huh. so believing in yourself is the greatest thing that you can do believing in yourself is the biggest thing that you can do and yourself yeah we are going to read from the book of Corinthians Corinthians believing in yourself is the strongest thing that you can do and yourself Second Corinthians four verse thirteen. And yeah, we are going to read. It is written, I believe, therefore, I have spoken with the same spirit of faith. We also believe and it says that I have I have it is written I believe therefore I have spoken I have believed therefore I have spoken bonus I believe therefore I have spoken with the same words of with the same words of faith with the same words of faith we also believe and therefore speak there's one thing that you should know you don't speak what you don't believe in you don't speak what you don't believe in if you speak in faith and you if you speak in something that you believe in and you have faith in it it happens only if you believe the bible has told us that i i believe and speak in faith so first you should believe speak then have faith in what you have spoken bonus if you have you seen it you should first believe then speak in faith and it will happen bonus if you if only if only you can speak if only you can speak and believe in God if only you can speak and have faith if only you can speak and be bold and have faith then 
I tell you today, they believe and having faith in it, then it will work in your favor. Only if you believe first, then speak and have faith that in what you have spoken will work through. Will work through. Put your fears aside. Put your fears aside. Put your doubt aside. Because when you doubt, it comes along with fear. Now there's a third thing that makes you not believe in yourself. There's a third thing that makes you not believe in yourself. And that is being discouraged. Being discouraged. Being discouraged comes along with you listening to people. You listening to your inner self. You know, the kind of a person who speaks unto you and tells you, you know, you cannot do this. You cannot go through. Because you know this and this, you have this and this problem. You know, you cannot do it because the problem in you cannot happen. You're not strong to do it. You don't have the power to do it. You don't have the money to do it. So you can't do it. Stop, stop going ahead. You can't do it. You doubt yourself. Then you fear that you cannot do it. Now, I tell you this morning that the spirit of discouragement is another strong spirit that can destroy you in only a few seconds. We have seen many of the people they have closed down their jobs because they were discouraged. Not, not necessarily people speaking unto them. Not necessarily people saying things to them. But they were discouraged because in themselves, in themselves, they knew they cannot do it. Because of the way the job was, they knew they could not do it. And so they were discouraged of moving on. Other people have closed down their jobs because they listened to their friends. And so they became discouraged of moving on. People will speak a lot of things about you. People will say a lot of things about you. But if you believe in yourself, and if you have the power of I believe in you, then you should not one thing that nobody will pull you down. No devil in hell or anybody in earth will pull you down because God is walking with you. God has said, if you pray and ask and call unto my name, I will answer you. It only takes you to believe and say it in faith and have faith that it will happen. That's only that it takes. If you listen to people, you'll be discouraged. Many people, okay, you know, let me tell you one thing. Never ask someone who has not gone through something and ask him what or how to go about with the problem that you have. You know, someone who has not gone through a breakup cannot advise someone who has been through a breakup. Someone who has not lost his job cannot advise someone who has lost his job. I mean someone who has never lost his job cannot advise someone who has lost his job or her job. Someone who does not have a problem in his family will never understand the problems that you're having in your family. So people who have not gone through the same experience as you will never ever give you a good advice. Rather than they will either discourage you or make you doubt yourself. They will make you have fear. But if you have the strength, if you have the power, and if you have the power of I believe in you, and if you know whatever you speak from you, whatever you speak from inside you, then have faith in it. It will work in your favor. Some people have doubted themselves because they were told they could not sing very well. And so they doubted that they could not sing. And so they cannot go behind the mark or in the studio to sing. But they have good voices. It's only that their partners are trying to discourage them because they know what they carry in them. Because they know the gift that they carry in them. Now this morning I'm telling you what. You should have the power of I believe in yourself. That nobody can discourage you. Nobody can pull you down. Nobody can make you see that you can't do it. Nobody can make you doubt yourself. But you should have the power of I believe in yourself. When you have the power of I believe in yourself, you won't doubt. When you have the power of I believe in yourself, you won't have fear. When you have the power of I believe in yourself, you won't be discouraged by anything. You won't be caused in what you have been fighting for. If only the children of Israelites believed in themselves, 
that they could fight Goliath, then David could not have come in because they believed they could do it. But they didn't believe. They had fear. They doubted in, in, the, in themselves. Then they were discouraged by what they saw Goliath doing. They were discouraged because they believed that God was with them. And now they cannot see anything. Because first of all, they doubted. Then it came fear in them. And now they started asking questions. But when you have the power of I believe in you, you are going far. When you have the power of I believe in you, you are going to walk boldly. When you have the power of I believe in you, you are going to walk through challenges. When I, you have the power of I believe in you, you are going to do things that will make people marvel. When you have the power of I believe in you, you are going to work miracles. It only takes you to say to yourself that I believe and speak the words and have faith in the words. One as if we believe, believes, believes God's hand in hand with faith. So you should believe first, then speak your words, as we have been told in 2 Corinthians 4, that if only you believe, in 2 Corinthians 4, 13, if only you believe, and speak the words in faith, then whatever you have spoken will happen. It only takes you the power of I believe. So do not be discouraged. Do not have doubt. Do not have fear. Because God is with you. It's only that you don't believe in yourself. That's why things are happening the way they are happening. It's only that you don't have the push in yourself. That's why it's happening the way it's happening. I tell you today, this morning, encourage someone this morning. Be a shoulder to someone this morning. People feel happy and rejoiced when they have someone who can tell them you can do it. People feel comfortable when they have someone who can tell them, you can do it. When, when you tell someone, I believe in you, you give that person the power of I believe from in you. If you tell that person, I believe in you, I believe you can do this, I believe, even kids at home, if you tell your child, I believe you can work better in your exams, you'll see that the child will be happy because the child believes that you know he can do it. And so the child will believe in him or herself that he can do it. It only takes you to speak out with the power of I believe and you will share it to other people. It only takes you to be bold with the power of I believe and you will share to other people. You will not discourage people with your words, but you will encourage people with your words. You will not pull down people with your words, but you will uplift them with your words. Because you believe in your words and because you have faith that your words can do it. One day someone asked me, why is it that whenever you pray, you get what you ask? Or whenever you ask God to do you something, even though it will take a long time, it will still happen. How does it happen? I only told that person, it's because I believe in what I speak and I speak it from deep down my heart. I speak it from my heart. It comes out from my heart. And it's because it's true from my heart. And when I say it, I believe it's already happened. I believe in myself and I have faith in the Father who created the heaven and earth that he's going to do it. That's why it happens. Because I believe. Bonus, if you will. You should not doubt yourself. You should not doubt your capabilities. You should not doubt what you can do. People can sing, but they doubt themselves. People can do better, but they doubt themselves. One as few. It only takes you the power of I believe. One as few to do what you can. It only takes you the power of I believe to do it better. One as few. So. Believe in yourself. Put away the doubts in you. I know at this pandemic time, people are doubting themselves that they can't do it. At this pandemic time, people are losing faith. But this is not the time to lose faith. This is not the time to doubt yourself. This is not the time to have fear. This is not the time to be discouraged. But this is the time to stand up and be bold. Because God is watching over his people. God is watching over everybody. It only takes you to believe in yourself and say, I believe. Just as Jesus said, if you believe that you can speak and something can happen, then you can do it. 
if you believe that you can speak a prophecy into your life and it can happen, then you can believe in yourself. You can believe in yourself. So, today I'm coming in before today I'm coming before you and I'm telling you that believe in yourself and God will be with you. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much for being with me all through. God bless you. God be with you today and even in your lifetime as God gives you the power of I believe in you. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you. My name, as I said, is Esau Isaac Karaoke Kamau and I thank God that I was your speaker today. Thank you very much as we conclude. Let's pray and believe in God. Father God, we come on before you and we thank you for everything that you have done unto us, Father God. We bless you and we glorify you this morning, Father God. Thank you for your word, for I know I have spoken and you have spoken unto your people and I have delivered your word into your people, Father God. Thank you very much for this word and thank you very much, Father God, for speaking unto us this morning, Father God. Thank you for encouraging us, Father God, and uplifting your, our spirits again, Father God. Thank you, Father God. I pray, Father God, that anybody who doubts in himself and everybody who has fear in himself, Father God, that you may revive that person again and show that person that he can do it again or she can do it again. We glorify you. We worship you, Father God. Thank you for your word, Father God, as we live and bless you, Father God. We glorify you and bless you, Father God. As you live, believe in yourself. Thank you very much. Let's meet on next Sunday in the same, same place, Nice TV, the home of joy, as we watch again and I speak unto you, you again. Let's meet next Sunday at 7 in the morning and we thank the God because we will be speaking together and sharing the word of God together. Let's meet again. You can check us on Facebook. You can check us on Twitter. You can check us on Instagram as Nice TV. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you and God be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.